Hello everybody and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. I can't believe it, but it's already been almost 10 years since this game was first released by the legendary Scott Cawthon. And look at all the material that's come out of it. We've gotten a number of sequels and prequels. Um, we've gotten a number of books relating to the you know plotline of the games. And we even got a freaking movie out of it. And I can't even I can't even begin to talk about <laughs> the plethora of spin-off and uh, copycat games that were made by indie developers all because they were so inspired by uh, by games like this one so Five Nights at Freddy's is a game and a franchise really that needs no introduction so without further ado let's just jump right into it no daily dallying family pizzeria looking for a security guard to work the night shift 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. <laughs> $120 a week you really couldn't pay me enough to work a job position like this when I know all the shit that's about to go down. <laughs> you could not pay me millions to do this. Anyway, even though I'm sure you guys know the storyline, like the back of your hand, I'm still gonna let Phone Guy talk. So, yeah. We gotta get used to everything real quick. Ugh. Hello. 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 Hi, Phone Guy. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Great. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. Oh, and gee, thanks. So, I hope so. let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory mm -hmm. reading from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises... God, it's already so, like, alarming to be told that. Could you imagine? Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know. Yeah, it does sound bad. nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? Quirky? No. If I were forced to sing... Those That's one way to put it. Songs for 20 years, and I never got a bath. I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. I mean, same. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Why? Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the Bite of 87. Yeah. Was that the Bite of 87? The human body could live without anyway. the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. Oh, I can, I can hear him singing already. Ooh, not the it's me. Not this fast. Could you imagine getting Golden Freddy on night one? Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. <laughs> and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop up in front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they see a breeze. Yeah. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. My fam. All right. Uh, here goes nothing. So yeah, I am gonna have to use that strat where you just kind of pay attention to Foxy's cam only and you don't even need the cameras for any of the other characters wandering around. But you know what, I'm gonna be quite liberal, you know, just kind of just look around on the first night because well, what else can I do? It's gonna be slow. 
It's only gonna get real serious as time goes on. As usual. Oh boy. I love the squeaker. Honk. God, me, me saying that. Ugh, not again. I hate that so much that it's, it's me bit. Activity yet. Probably not till like four. Uh, I was gonna say, me saying honk made me think of um, One Night at Flumpty's. That's a good spin off of this, too. Oh! Bonnie's a moving. Oh. Oh, he's in the parts and services. Great! Love that. Well, this is this is how my life ends. Now I, I I hopefully don't die night one. Cause that would be em embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? I sure as hell would be. I did do a brief test run and stuff to. This is fuck you, fuck you, Bonnie. God damn it. I hate that. He's just like, hey, look at my ugly... my ugly ass. God. There's something about the first game that's so, like, uniquely creepy compared to everything else. I mean, I guess it's because, like, when you when you look at the lore and stuff... I think that was Chica. When you look at the store... the store. <laughs> what am I saying? When you look at the lore and stuff nowadays, it's just so, like, wacky and weird and convoluted but like when you strip it all back down to you know what the first game was like um it's just it's yeah it's just that fear of the unknown all over again uh oh oh no <sighs> well i i guess i somehow got golden freddy uh night one like i okay i guess i'm psycho holy shit <laughs> Oh. Alright, well. I didn't know that was possible, actually. So, consider myself lucky, question mark? Oh, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Fuck you, Bonnie. Fuck you. Just everyone. Wait, why did... Why did all the cameras say audio, or er, audio only? That was... That was weird. Well, Chica Bika's in the in the kitchen. Bonnie's coming down this way. So I best be ready and keep my eye out. Yep. Life is going really well. Probably. Oh, he's getting close. I heard some footsteps. It's already 5 a.m. I'm doing well on power. I'm getting nervous though. Please. Oh. I thought that was him. I'm just anticipating him. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's in the, he's in the closet. I think Chica might still be in the kitchen. Oh no, she's by the bathrooms. Just gotta take a little tinkle. I mean, working at the pizzeria and drinking all that pop, I mean... Yeah. I feel like I got this in the bag. So far. Oh, Chica's coming down the hall now too. Hi, friend. Remember when everyone thought she was a duck? I mean... Come on, she's yellow. She looks a lot like a duck. Oop. Where? <sighs> I'm just gonna, gonna close the doors. I mean, I'll be. F oh, oh, hi, Foxy. 
I mean, I'm honestly just... Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm just fine sitting there. Hell yeah. All right, so that was night one. We did really well, I think. I don't know why I keep slipping into these accents. Maybe I am more nervous than I should be. <laughs> it's like, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. Everyone knows Five Nights at Freddy's. How? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, damn. Someone's already moving. <laughs> they said not tonight. Oh, and it was Chica. Chica stepped off the stage. Hi. Hooray. Uh, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. You don't uh, say. It might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's I, in their proper place. I'm on it. They're not. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so hey. I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Oh, Bonnie's gone. Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Believe uh, me, I'm looking. There are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, uh -huh. You might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Right. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. I, I have the been. The character in there seems unique and then he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long time. You say Meek? Uh, I guess he doesn't like Foxy's to watch. Meek Mill? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks. Alright, well. So far, so good. Still can't believe I saw Golden Freddy for uh, on my first night. I wonder what his probability um, statistics are. How likely is he to appear? Because I remember when everyone thought he was super rare. Well, like most people. In fact, I don't think he really had a name, so they just kind of stuck with Golden Freddy, you know? Oops, stop it. I hate, I hate that these um, door lights don't just turn off um, if you like move your mouse away. You have to like click it twice to turn it on and off. I'm waiting. Somebody's bound to show up at my door tonight. <laughs> Imagine like there's a Girl Scout. She's like, you want some cookies? Is that a fox? Out of here singing some kind of sea shanty. I'm already doing the strat this early into the game. And then, for Freddy, I mean, normally I would just kind of count the number of laughs and stuff before he um, is nearby. I don't remember how many it is, but like, I mean, if he sounds like he's close, I'm just gonna keep that door down. I don't care. Oh lord. Oh, footstep. Someone's on the way. I never knew what that sound was. The. Like, the. It, it was like a knock or something. Not, not, not like a knock, but. It was like plant, plant. I can't really describe it. Oh, hi, Bon. Fuck you. <laughs> Go away. No one likes you. Chica's in the kitchen. I should check the camera. Oh, he's gone now. Cool. But oh, wait, how far away is he? Is he? Oh, he's back. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna open that again. Great! Love it! Not really. Fuck, I don't want to do this. Get me out of here. Realistically speaking, if I, um, if I got hired 
not knowing anything about the company, and then I heard, you know, from the night one call that, oh, they wander around, and I see all that shit going on, I'm like, um, no, I'm quitting. I can find another job. I, <laughs> I am leaving so fast. Oh man, I'm I'm walking. I'm walking out. You can't even. You can't stop me. I am leaving. I hear footsteps again. My legs are trembling. Oh hi. I guess that was a good uh, a good sign <laughs> on my part. Stop. Just stop. Shut off. Okay, goodbye. Okay. God, the sound design is so immaculate uh, in this game. Like, now that I am hearing it um, with my headphones on and stuff. Um, like in person, not just watching someone else's video. Like this is this is crazy. Ooh. Like it's the harsh buzz of these lights that's like, Ew. and then all the meta uh, metallic swirlies and stuff. There's um, there's a video that I was watching before. Well, like I say before, but like that can mean anything. A long time ago, I remember seeing this video, and I can't remember the YouTube's, um, the YouTuber's name, but I will post it on screen or something um, when I do find the video. Just like a quick uh, clip from it. I think he has like a uh, brief little intro card. But he talks about the sound design of Five Nights at Freddy's and the number of sounds that are actually like red herrings that are supposed to throw you off. I thought that was such a, a cool little sound design, um, oh hi, <laughs> sound design choice from Scott, and it was really um, nice of him to um, break those sounds down. Um, I think he also talked about the sound design in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, damn, sound is one of the, I mean, of course, audio and video are the two things that make you really get immersed into a video game, and um, that's why having the proper design and um, care put into that design is uh, quintessential to having a good gaming experience, so. And, like, for how simple this game is, like, in terms of gameplay and visuals and mechanics, like, it's very effective. Um, the way that sound is being used, like... That, that's some smart shit. <laughs> that's some genius type shit. <laughs> that's some real hot girl shit. Anyway. Oh my god. I don't know if anyone would be willing to do this, but imagine a version of Five Nights at Freddy's where it's just a bunch of, like, rappers, or, like, at least Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> like... It, when they jump scare you, I don't know if it'd just be like a song or her signature little like ah, like the thing she does with her tongue and the, the vocal fry. Ah. That would be an amazing like spoof version of this game. God, my ideas are so stupid. Like silly, kind of stupid. Look at all those papers. Why are there cobwebs in here? You'd think that this would be like a fairly, um, like, busy restaurant, right? Like, even for, what, 1993? Or whatever? Oh, hey, look at that. 6 a.m. Damn, I can't believe- I still haven't died yet, but I feel like my chances are about to be- Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna die on the third night. <laughs> And I'm gonna jump, be jump scared and I'm gonna lose my shit. Ugh. Alright. Here we frickin' go. Ring-a-ling. Somebody already moving. Yep, I heard the footsteps. Oh, oh. 
Hi. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks. Uh, most people don't last this long. That's what she I said. Mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Right. Uh, I'm not implying that they die. Oh, that's really? I, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get Did caught you? and want to avoid getting stuck into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Then again, if they think you're an empty costume, Oops. they might try to step a metal skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Right. Um, Thanks. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side. That's another uh, great example of like a red herring. Is like the the phone calls get progressively less helpful as time. Stop it. <laughs> God, I'm doing weird things with my mouse. Uh, that I'm like weird movements that I'm not intending to do, but whatever. Anyway, um, I was trying to say. Um, that's another good example of a red herring in sound design is that the phone calls just get progressively l less helpful each night. It's like you know introductory stuff the first night and it's like yeah make sure that you close the doors and check your lights and stuff and now it's like play dead um if one of them enters your room and it's like well what's that gonna do what is that gonna do for real keep your bad ideas to yourself and just yeah i don't know <laughs> um and of course spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the um the rest of this game, I mean, I don't know if you've been living under a rock or if you're just like five years old, but um, yeah, well, phone guy dies, phone guy dies, so that's kind of a, a thing to take note of. I don't know, oops, <laughs> he gets less helpful and then he just dies, so I guess that's consequences. I don't know, I bet those will be my consequences for talking shit on him now is that I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, there, there was that sound again. Blah, blah. I don't know what it is. Um, like a double click, clicky sound in the game. I don't know what that means. Step. God, I should try um, like a free roam version of this at some point because I can only imagine <laughs> what the rest of the pizzeria is like. Or even if you're to role play it as like one of the animatronics in a in a 3D in, uh, version of this, and you're just like watching the <laughs> you're watching the um, the night guard just going back and forth, and you see lights flashing down your hall, and it's like, oh yeah, he seems paranoid. <laughs> he looks real paranoid tonight. Stop. Chica's still in the kitchen. Boy, she's hungry. Hopefully not for me. Don't eat my face. Oh. Moxie's finally peeping out those curtains. Hi. But step. I reckon one of them is probably pretty close by now. Hi, I was right. Oh, sure, I just stepped away. Cool. I'm sure I'm bound to misclick a couple of times and that's gonna screw me over too. Oh, you're back? Good lord. Hi. I hate how she just stares through the window. Oh, there's Freddy. Screw you. Screw you, Freddy. Okay. My mouse was not moving there for a second. I didn't like that. Focusing, focusing, focusing. Chat. Oh my god, you are just... Annoying tonight, Chico. Oh, he's almost out. Don't like that. Oop. 
here goes Freddy again. Oh, damn it. My mouse got stuck again. I didn't like that. He's back in the kitchen. That's cool. Connie's probably coming. Don't take that out of context, people. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie's coming. I'm sure. I don't feel like looking, but... Settling back in again. Like I, I just much, I, I'd much rather watch somebody else play this, you know, than uh, playing it myself. But you know what? I'm sure a lot of you would also be in that same sentiment and thus are happy to watch me play, which I hope that's the case because, damn. <laughs> like, why are you here if you don't want to watch me play play a scary game like this? I'm putting my video game life on the line, like the life of my uh, person in the game, my character in the game, just for your amusement. A lot of footsteps. Hi again, Chica. You're like I'm really on my case tonight. Okay. Too many footsteps. Oh my god, get off of my... <laughs> get off my case. Get off my steez. My style and or ease. Well... It, the night is almost over. Shut off. Oh, hi, Bon. Alright, I'm just gonna sit this one out. Y'all have fun. that. Is he in here? Yeah, he is. Well, I think I'm gonna make it just fine sitting here, so you know, it's gonna chill. Oh, not the it's me again. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it closed. Yep. Honk, honk. Honk. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been a good night. <laughs> yep. Woo. Ah, hit my mic. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay. We're we're fine. I'll try to tone it down if it uh if it was an issue. Oh, there goes Foxy. Oh. All right. Well, I'm just gonna chill out. There we go. That's that's all I needed. That was all I needed. Yeah! All right. Well, that completes night three. I think I'm just gonna take a small break uh, and cut the recording here because, oh lord, I don't feel like just going through all five nights. I gotta I gotta pad the time out a little bit, you know. Um, yeah. All right, everyone, that was Five Nights at Freddy's. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and to click that notification bell to stay up to date on more scary content like this. My name's Peyton, signing off. Bye.